Second Chronicles 15, we'll read from verse 12 to 15. Is God helping someone? And they entered into a covenant. Watch this. They entered into what? A covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. 13. That whatsoever, whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. 14. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath. It was beyond a desire. It was a covenant. For they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire. And the Bible says he was found of them. What was the result? And the Lord gave them rest round about. I think it was God's servant Bishop Oedipo who said, when Covenant University started, on the day that they were going to do the commissioning, the dedication, that the Lord told him to lie down flat on the ground and hand over that meeting. With all due respect, I will tell you something. When we were preparing for the Manchester conference, usually we hold a meeting with the workers before the main meeting starts. One of the things we did was as a workforce, all of us got down on our knees and we handed over the conference to God. You are the only one who can change the heart of men. You are the only one who can heal. You are the only one who can deliver. It's a strategy God gave. In all your ways, acknowledge him. So you will see an ordinary mother. She may not have everything, but she has a covenant with God. God will tell her, Mama, pray from 12 to 2 every day without fail. That is your secret. For as long as you do this, you will never beg. The woman may not know much, but once it's 12 on the dot, Mama may be tired, but she remembers that there is a winning strategy. And she's praying. She's done that for 10 years, 20 years. One day, her once forgotten son now becomes a captain in industry. And even when people take his name to Habalis, the Habalis will say, you brought a wrong person. And one day, the mother will say, come, my son. Do you know why you are this great? Oh, I just returned from Harvard. Nonsense. Come, let me show you something. When you were born, God told me you will be great. And God said to make that prophecy come to pass. There are families, their, their winning strategy is that they covenanted with God that any missionary that comes around any area, maybe their village, they must provide a room. Have you seen that kind of thing? Some of your parents did it. And you may not know why the children today, regardless how stubborn they are, God still blesses them. God is a covenant keeping God. Oh, let me tell you the truth. Hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. If you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Fine. The day I stop men from seeing the Lord, it's not that he will judge me. It is that the covenant itself was designed to bring you down. So if I see people boasting and bragging, it's none of my business. I know what protects the oil on my head. If you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Not every preacher may be comfortable talking like me and being so vulnerable like me. And I respect it. I don't know what covenant God gave them. But as for me, the nations must see Jesus through my life. And I'm not ashamed. It has nothing to do with my reputation or my ego. The results show that I'm not a fool for allowing the nation see Jesus. Is someone learning? I remember one great businessman, a billionaire businessman. We had the privilege of ministering in a conference together. And then he was talking and we had an opportunity to just share. And he was telling me, he said, listen, there's a sacrifice. There are things I do with God that translates to the things you see including unbelievers they have covenants that they keep do you know that every time you see greatness somebody is doing something somewhere that is not normal that is not natural hallelujah with all due respect i will tell you and i'm saying it sincerely i i say it with every sense of humility 
one of the secrets behind the mysterious blessing of God upon this ministry was a sacrifice something that happened years ago the Lord gave me an instruction didn't have much he said to empty the account of this ministry zero zero naira when that happened of course it was a test it didn't reach seven days and God came through in a way and he had vowed that forever this ministry will never beg is the truth is the truth hallelujah so there are people who do not behind please if there is anything you must learn today behind every sustainable result there are winning strategies don't think people just excel like that no 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 with all due respect i will tell you every time i have had the honor of meeting our father in the lord that the geo whether in his office here whether wherever i have almost always met him praying always met him praying he will sit down as old as that man is you would think he's weak and tired service is going on and he's in his office praying praying in tongues for a long time and afterwards he gets up and is ready to come out one declaration there is somebody here this and that and people say amen and you see people return with children as if they stole them and you'll be wondering thinking what happened can i tell you sincerely god honors covenants hallelujah i remember the time i emptied my account like empty everything because i love the lord i said lord this is for you no coercion no manipulation there is nothing that you give me that i will not give you don't just covet people's results there are winning strategies and if god tells you please make sure you keep it how can a global ministry like this be going on break can you imagine right now after the second week of december or thereabout we're having the last koinonia service and that's it go on break till january what if you don't come back I'm just saying it is suicidal from from an honest standpoint no man of God does that kind of thing that God has helped you now you want to create sorrow for yourself again but if it's a strategy he gave until he changes it it will not stop how can a ministry this size and has never held this convention with literally millions of followers across the globe you must be a madman to not do that but that is the foolishness of obedience Listen, I'm speaking to someone. You started a business with God and you vowed before God, prosper me. 50% goes for me, 50% goes for the ministry. You did it the first year, you became a billionaire immediately. Now when the Holy Spirit comes, mm, don't disturb me. When I said that, Nigeria was all right. Okay. And you see, God respects you. He will respect you even at the expense of your rising. Please go back and find out what is the secret behind any result you are seeing today. If it was prayer, keep praying. If it was fasting, keep fasting. Are we together? Violating their winning strategies. There are things Koinonia will always do. There are things Koinonia will never do. Never. Never. When we were having the conference, let me make reference to it again. You can imagine such size of people and God comes to me while praying and he says, I want to make a statement. There is a, a negative narrative that they've had about the church. I want to correct that statement. And because of that, number one, you will not collect offering nor mention money all through the course of that conference. How do you pay the bills? You have no idea, ladies and gentlemen, how much was spent for that conference. You are wise. You use your mind. And then a workforce of over 2,000 people, you are to feed them also. Bless the people, return back. No talk of money, no nothing. Yes, sir. It is your work. This is the strategy. It was the violation of strategy 
that eventually led to the defeat of Israel, the death of Hophni and Phinehas. You know that now? A strategy was given to them to not choose, just to use the frog and whatever meat comes out, they should take it with contentment. But the children said, no, no way. They will use their, the thing and push and look for something that is, is sumptuous. And God was saying, I'm warning you now. They kept bringing the thing out till they went to die. And their father saw them. They were violating strategies, but because of his heart. Don't love people too much to leave them die. There are times that your compassion can be used by the devil to destroy people. You know how God helped you to stand when the people, especially the people around you, if they are violating the spiritual secrets that make for strength, love them, but correct them in love. That was the mistake of Eli. There would never have been a mention of Ichabod. He would have called those boys to say, listen, my dear sons, I'm a judge in Israel now for 30 something years, getting to 40. My secret with God was A, B, C, D. Why did God jump Eli's sons and went to Samuel? Because I'm sure God gave them a grace period and saw that these boys were not interested in repentance, conversion, nor his program. If you never believe that God collects the bishopric of people, you have not read your Bible well. Just because God used you yesterday, man of God, it doesn't mean he will use you tomorrow. No. Hallelujah. Your winning strategy. For someone, your life was built on sacrifice. Don't stop it. Because you have now become great. Don't stop it. Your life was built on prayer. Your life was built on the word. There are some of you, you have a covenant with God. Every time it is two or three days to your birthday, you go for a retreat. Now that you are a big man, make sure people do not distract you. When it's your birthday, they will say, um, they slaughtered chicken or cow. Will you die if you don't eat it? They should eat it on your behalf with love. After you meet with God, or they should, re they should refrigerate it for you. You will eat it after the retreat. You go back to your God and your maker. Lord, I am here again. I started meeting with you when I was 18 years. I am now 50 years. And God will say, you are still coming. Yes, sir. I'm still here. I have given you global visibility. You are still here. Yes, sir. And God says, let's go to the next level. Listen to me. If you don't keep this principle, there are consecrations and covenants that protect anointings and protect impact every time you see glory turning to shame somebody has left his covenant with god and men can distract you you can forget your winning formula john g lake was crying a. A. Allen, amen was crying for the healing anointing he said god how, what does it take to carry the healing anointing he went inside the room he looked at his wife and said honey you will not see me again for the next one week don't feel bad i i will not come out until god speaks to me he entered and shut the door and prayed and cried and god gave him seven secrets he said if you keep these secrets there is no sickness you will not heal he came out rejoicing and told his wife i found it When you see men do the things that they do, I remember, truthfully speaking, those days when I would see men of God, park stadiums, park meetings, it, it looked to me as if, I said, how do, it, how do these guys get people to even hear them? I mean, in my naive, do, is it publicity they use? What does it take for people to come and crowd themselves like this? Abba! Until I found out that the secret behind every glory bar are many covenants and many consecrations there is someone god is calling you today and saying there was something you did that you never lacked anytime your money is about to finish god will wake somebody but now you are literally begging you are a shadow of your yesterday return back to your covenants there is a winning secret god gave you I'm telling you this as a prophetic word. God is saying, return back. 
return back to the covenants there are people who were once powerful they are no longer powerful no zero power it's gone worship people some of you the secret behind your receiving songs was to lock yourself at least a few minutes a few hours in a week that's your time with god you carry your keyboard or your your guitar and you lie down before the lord and cry make sure as god lifts you you don't just say i'm a popular person you will write a song that is so nice and nobody will listen to it because the presence factor is missing who am i speaking to someone needs to repent god is showing you this is why your glory has gone down this is why your glory has gone down this is why the glory of your ministry has gone down this is why your impact has gone down once the presence factor is missing once the winning formula is missing there are things you must keep doing to keep seeing the glory there are things you must keep doing to keep seeing the glory hallelujah at the beginning of every year without fail there are things i do there are things i do by the spirit there are things i do by the spirit maybe there are only a few times i enter every new year from an old year praying in tongues is tongues that transits from 12 to that new year there are if for any reason i have missed it maybe it's not once maybe i was in a meeting until the next year came new year 31st to first no you can't be playing as soon as that year lands i'm commanding january already i'm commanding february because in this ministry by 6 31st of december 6 p.m on the dot west african time the prophetic word for the next year comes so once we go on break as we are enjoying break me i'm not doing break i'm waiting before god to say what is the the the, the leading for the next year and before the 30th or 28th to 30th, there must be. Now, there are people who don't believe in prophetic words. That's all right. I respect whatever revelation. But this is how God has guided us. When he said it was a year of open doors this year, we believed him. And the results have spoken for themselves. Hallelujah. It's in this kind of atmosphere. I lie down in his presence. Shabakatabata lord there are millions of people depending on this direction what are you saying oh god what are you saying oh god turn the plates upside down you are signing your register for the relevance of the next season just because you are relevant now i tell you believe this does not mean you will remain relevant I have seen people with all humility rise at the cutting edge of ministry at the cutting edge of business you would never imagine with all due respect there are musicians today worshipers today you almost don't know where they are again please everybody go back and ask the lord what is the secret behind the glory that you have placed on my life there are many men of God here. Don't just be allowing people clap for you and say, ah, you are a powerful man of God. You are joking. You are just two years in ministry and you are bragging. You don't know the challenges and the, and the mountains. Even those who are standing, they were shaken. Talk less of you that is already shaking without a wind. Take away that pride and sit down and say, Lord, what is the formula you are giving me? There is a covenant I have with God. It is impossible for me to lack what to preach on Sunday. It's not just because of study. I tell you this. It is a covenant with God. There are things I do with God. What he wants the people to hear on Sunday must be there on time. 
if you think it is easy go and be preparing six messages every week you will be tired one day you will preach everything you know and you'll be tired but not when you are standing on this i have a covenant with god provided i am standing doing ministry i will never ever break down maybe when i am done i can sit down and rest but when that anointing is on me i can stand and preach till the next day if i were pretending this bar i would have died by now believe me when you see extraordinary results i'm teaching you something there is a covenant with god that this ministry will never beg and never borrow till jesus comes this is not about prosperity oh this no 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 is someone learning in one minute i'd like you to raise a cry from heaven and say father grace upon my life where have i thrown away my winning formula you gave it to me in the secret this is what made me a millionaire you gave it to me in the secret and i conquered the financial realm right now my world is shaking thou son of david have mercy on me someone pray Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Shake Parakosiata. Where you have violated your winning strategy. Behind the exploits of men in the spirit. Behind the exploits of men in destiny. There are secrets. There are covenants. Take a minute to pray. Skata prakata balakata pos. Skata balanta paka sopra kata balakos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Never forget this secret. If you do not want to answer the name Ichabod in your lifetime, find out the secrets behind your glory. And protect it sit down number five are you ready hmm. I sense that there's going to be a mighty impartation I tell you God is God is shaking someone from the core of your spirit there is a man of God you came here to hear this thing this thing I just said God is telling you this is it I've answered you I've answered you already I've answered you this is what you left and with it the glory went this is it Le Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 and the Lord said unto Moses this is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you You want to see the power of God? You want to walk in signs and wonders? No. There are things if you do not understand, it will remain like a movie. This thing is not magic. Not everybody is fake. No. Thank you for watching and I want to encourage you to do what you have. Watch and trust God for this miracle. Because the word of God is life. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do so to subscribe. Always Apostle is here to speak and to encourage you. God bless you for coming to this station. May you remain blessed. And may your days always give you what you deserve. God bless you and remain blessed.